we will continue today past continuous tense present continuous tense and future continuous tense and future perfect continuous tense also present perfect continuous for all these sentences the ending will be same that's why i grouped all these ten tenses in one table okay let's go there then we will practice with quiz actually i can explain directly here in this book but mm, when i explain it will be okay like you understand but but if you want to practice you should have some kind of assignment that's why i am making quiz in the live class then i am giving the link okay ah uh okay see uh, first initially we start discussing here then we will go to the quiz uh, this is verb go go means value in positive sentence actually mm, okay this is positive sentence i am going this is a sentence it means nenu velthu unnanu nenu velthu unnanu okay nenu velthu unnanu yeah Uh, the next category nu velthu unnavu so only this uh, next category means with a different subject it will be wo only this wo will come here like this okay i will explain okay. the quiz perfectly now let's go to the negative sentence nenu velladam ledu so vellu becomes velladam velladam okay. ledu next positive interrogative sentence it will be నేను వెళ్తూ ఉన్నానా చూడండి ఇంట్రాగేటివ్ నేను వెళ్ళడం లేదా బికమ్స్ నేను వెళ్ళడం నేను వెళ్ళడం లేదు బికమ్స్ నేను వెళ్ళడం లేదా లైక్ దట్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ సింపుల్ అదర్ సెంటెన్స్ స్ట్రక్చర్స్ ఇయర్ i am going i was going okay i will be going i will have been going i have been going whatever sentence you take okay the ending will be same only the words which we use grammatically in english those will be different but the ending will be same that's why i combined like this okay but in the quiz we focus only on the Uh, first we will write all these examples but in the and untini uh, uh, we are using for female version no no not like that this is for the untini for the first person for anyone female or male we will make that case okay, then we will understand okay untano uh, or it is not for female it is like you know this is the actual word to word translation but no need to use that one we can just say unnanu also okay i will, in the quiz we will write individual so you will clearly understand let's go to quiz okay so there so for all these things you can write the correct answer it will be nenu velthu unnanu nenu velthu unnanu nenu velthu unnanu have velthu unnanu okay నేను వెళ్తూ ఉన్నాను ఐమ్ యాక్చువల్లీ బట్ ఇన్ ద థీరీ బుక్ యూ విల్ ఫైండ్ లిటిల్ డిఫరెంట్లీ ద డిఫరెన్స్ ఈస్ ఫర్ ద పాస్ట్ టెన్స్ టెన్సెస్ పాస్ట్ పాస్ట్ టెన్స్ సెంటెన్సెస్ ఉన్నాను బికమ్స్ ఉంటిని నేను వెళ్తూ ఉంటిని నేను వెళ్తూ ఉంటిని లైక్ దట్ ఓకే ఇట్ పాస్ట్ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ ఓకే ఉంటిని ఓకే వెయిట్ వెయిట్ వి విల్ రైట్ లిటిల్ డిఫరెంట్లీ సి నౌ లెట్ మీ కీప్ దిస్ వన్ ఫర్ ఓన్లీ for few things let me duplicate this one first so you will clearly understand because in the no yes. no it's okay i am yeah. understanding for past thing we have yeah. we need to use untini right yes yes correct in the book it yeah. was there like that okay so i am okay. going if you have a sentence okay. like this i am going or i have been going okay so the sentence will be nenu velthu unnanu this is the answer okay. is here i wrote here okay now okay. there are some other possibilities okay so in other context if it is past tense i was going or i will have been going in no oh, this one no i have been going okay this one did we mention we have okay. so only for I... past tense we keep here 
I was going. The answer will be Nenu Veltu Untini. Okay. Nenu Veltu Untini. Like that. Okay. Okay. Done. Now, uh, next what we will do. For others, see, maybe we can add. Actually, so I'm not going to make any other tense here because just you see in this book. Okay. Indiri. For example, Atadu. When we, when we have the subject, he, it will be Nenu Veltu, Atadu Veltu, Unna Du. It will be like that. Okay. Yes, you are going. Okay. Can you translate this one? No Veltu Unnau. No Veltu Unnau. Yes. Yes. Okay. So it will be. Nuvu veltu unnavu. Okay. For atadu, I am not writing because it is easy for you to make atadu veltu unnadu. Like that it will change. For others things also no need. Okay. For this also no need. You can easily understand because you know already the personal pronouns. Okay. So other things oh. I am not writing. Uh, okay. Let's like let's write only the last one. Okay. So they are going for the plural. Let me make this copy. So here they are going they are going okay this one things okay things and things okay. enough things things far okay now can you try uh avi avelto untai uh no no avi veltu unnai unnai nai avi veltu unnai they are going avi veltu unnai like that, okay? Done. Okay. Next one. Let's go to the next one. So here also, what we can do, I'm not going means, Okay, let's take this sentence. Okay, I am not going. Can you, uh, did you remember the answer? Can you try? Nenu uh, velto. No, no, no. Un See uh, here. Well, yeah. See here. You need to remember uh, well, the gerund meanings. Okay. In each verb has uh, actually each verb has uh, different forms. Okay. The first one is verb in base form. Okay. The the meaning of go in verb in base form is vellu. In gerund form, it is velladam. Well, Adam, if you okay. if you take any verb, when you want to use the gerund form meaning, it ends with dumb sound. For example, eat, tinu, eating. This is gerund form. Tinu becomes tinadam in gerund form. So wellu becomes well Adam in gerund form. Which tense? Actually, it is not. Actually, it is not related to tense. It is gerund form. Uh, you know what is gerund? It is like a, no. it is like a name for the activity. Okay, okay. for the people, things, um, for the activities, uh, not for the activities, for the people, animals, birds, for all these, we have names. Names, what we call in English, noun. Am I right? Okay. Hi, yeah. 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 Like that, for all the activities, we have to put a name. That name is called. It is instead of noun, we say gerund. Okay. Gerund. Okay. Gerund. Okay. gerund means the name of the activity. Name of okay. the activity. Okay. Noun means name of the person. Gerund means name of the activity. So okay. go, this is base form, well. What is the activity name? Velladam. That is in Telugu. Well in English, going. Okay. So okay. for the negative tense in the Telugu language. We use the meaning in gerund form to the going word. Okay. This going word has two meanings. In gerund form, it is velladam. In continuous form, it is well to. Well to. Okay. That one we use in the normal sentence. Okay. okay. Affirmative okay. sentence. In the affirmative sentence, we used well to. Okay. If you can look at here. Yeah. Well to. But in the gerund form, it will be well adam. Well adam. Okay. Yeah. So, so 
I am not going, I was not going, I haven't been going. For all these tenses, uh, tenses we can use the same meaning that is Nenu Velladam Vedu. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So next let's go to the book. So if you look at here for the other personal pronouns, look at the table, it will not ah. change. The ending will be same for any personal pronoun. Atadu Velladam Vedu. Ame Veladam Vedu, Vadu Veladam Vedu. For all these things, it is same. So, just for example, we'll write only one more personal pronoun only. Then Aina others. Yeah, just for comparison purpose. Okay. So, now I'll just duplicate this one. He is not going. He is not going. This is enough. Okay. This is, okay. let's say, near. Equal status. Okay. Can you try the meaning? Atadu velladam le. Near. Atadu velladam le. Near, near. Near. If he is uh, near. Itadu velladam le. Yes, correct. Itadu velladam le. Yes, perfect. Okay. Done. Okay. Now, uh, let's go to the next one. So here in the book, we have other categories. So we don't need to discuss other things because they are same. You can read from the book. Okay. Now let's go to the next positive interrogative sentence. This is very, very easy. Okay. So I'll just copy from there one of the positive or I can just make from here. Uh, something wrong. Uh, ending should no. match. Ending should match. When you say Nenu, when you say Nenu, the ending should be the Na sound only. Nenu Veltu Unnana. Perfect. Veltu Unnana. Nenu Veltu Unnana. Am I going? Okay. So, okay. for the past tense, like, was I going? Can you say this one? So, it will be like, Untini becomes... Okay, in the past tense, I was going means Nenu Veltu Untini. Okay, this one change it to question form. Was I going? Was ne matlab untini use karna hai? Ah, untini is normal sentence, but I am asking you to make a sentence like this, like a question. Was uh, I going? Veltu Untini Untina. Perfect. Yes, correct. Yeah, like that you can change. Okay. Yeah, okay. So again, this one, not this shouldn't be here. So I will remove. I have, I have a, okay, this is okay. okay. So now, negative interrogative sentences. I am I not going with Am I not going? Okay. So here, uh, for other things, uh, since you know already how to make positive sentences, it's easy for you to make the questions. Okay. You practice the okay. positive sentence, then make the sentences. So here, we will have this one, copy. Am I not going? Okay. So here, again, we change from the jiran form structure only. Okay. So in jiran form, look at, I am not going. This is, I am not going. Now you remember the option. Nenu uh, velladam ledu. The same thing you need to change to nenu velladam leda. Like that. For the question. Oh. Am I not going? That means, okay, say now. Mm. Am I not going? Yes. Am I not going means? Nenu velladam leda. Nenu velladam leda. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Ah, okay. Here little variation is there. So, velladam ledu. Uh, in the book, I mentioned like, you know, with a star explanation. If you look at here, I won't ah. be going. Here we have three stars. So, look at oh. the meaning where there are three stars. Nain Veltu Undanu, like that. In the book, it oh. is very detailed, okay? But when we practice as a quiz, 
Mm, if you look at any exam, you will not have all the book information in the quiz. So there will be only some important things will be there in the quiz. So here you read from the book later. Then after that, you attempt one more time your quiz. Okay. But in the quiz now, I'm highlighting only certain things. Okay. So okay. Uh, actually, I deleted something before, but no need to delete because I mentioned for some reason, the stars and all I mentioned for some reason. So you always match these stars to number of okay. stars in this Telugu meeting. Okay. In the PDF okay. book also, you will see the same thing. Okay. Now okay. Uh, we we finished this one. Let's go to the next one. In the next category, what we have here, um, there are some activities in the booklet also. For each table below, you will find the activity. That activity also you do. The following words follow the same pattern of conjugation uh, when you make sentences. So you need to make the other tenses, like, you know, uh, make sentences using the below verbs as shown in the above table. So you need to make, no need to write full, just pick some sentence structure and try to convert them. And no need to practice with everything, just to practice the verb which you want to use regularly. Proceed okay. or rush like that. Okay. Oh. okay. Uh, one thing you need to remember, the more you practice, the more sentences you make on your own. Okay. While doing, you will get your doubts. Okay. You note down, then ask me in the coming classes. Then when I clear your doubts, next time when you use, when you want to use those sentences in your real life, uh, okay. you will not find any difficulty. An example sentence will be like this. I will have gone. Okay? Okay. Whenever you have a sentence like this, I will have gone. Okay. Okay. So the correct answer will be for this. See, nein velli untanu. Nein velli untanu. Okay. So let's copy this one. Remember the conjugation. Vellu, this is the base form. Vellu became velli. Then Untanu is a common suffix in this tense, okay? But when we change this subject, for example, Atadu, Atadu velli untadu, Aame velli untundi, Varu velli untaru, like that it will change. It is there in the next sentences, you can read later. Memu velli untamu, Manamu, Avi velli untai. So in the quiz, we'll just write only few sentences. So, Nenu, Velli. Velli this to is a future continuous. perfect tense. Yes, yes. Okay. Velli, Untanu. Unnanu is past tense. Or Unna... past tense or continuous tense also. Veltu, Unnanu. This is continuous tense. Uh, Velli, it is future perfect tense. Okay. Velli, Untanu. I will have gone in Veli Untanu. Okay. Then for the other things. And Veltanu uh, is a uh, simple sentence. Mm, yes. Yes. Simple present tense. Correct. Okay. Just for practice purpose, we'll just make one more copy of this one. Uh, then, then, because you need to understand whether we are going to change the the conjugation ending part according to subject or not that you need to understand so for that i will write here she will have gone so now can you try the translation uh, so here she means like i will write here ame par, yeah. ame belli untini no 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 try again try again for, for always it sounds like the sound the sound so untundi untundi remember the sound untundi okay ame ame velli untundi untundi remember the spelling ame velli untundi okay ame velli untundi so like that for each subject it will change ending okay now let's see 
the next uh, category that is negative sense okay negative sense i will not have gone okay i will not have gone i will not have gone okay so the meaning will be like this nenu velli undanu undanu yes velli untanu positive velli undanu is negative undanu negative little confusing strange little, uh, yeah, but it's a, yeah. but this is the structure we use నేను వెళ్ళి ఉండను ఓకే సో ఐ విల్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ గాన్ నేను వెళ్ళి ఉండను ఓకే సో హియర్ యూనిట్ టు అబ్జర్వ్ వెదర్ ఆర్ వి చేంజింగ్ ద వెర్బ్ ఎండింగ్ అకార్డింగ్ టు అదర్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఎస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ చేంజింగ్ ఓకే సో ఫర్ దట్ ఐ విల్ రైట్ వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ ఫర్ యూ దన్ ఓకే so here i will write for example um they will not have gone okay they will not have gone can you try this translation they will not have gone and they varu varu velli varu velli untava undaru undaru yeah look at this one i will not have gone nenu velli undanu here look at this one varu velli undaru always remember the ending we take from the subject ending only varu velli undaru like that like that you need to match so here nenu here nenu is there this nu it he it's here so you need to remember with this technique okay nenu velli undanu var velli undaru like that okay so uh, for questions very easy we'll just make only from here mm, i will have gone okay so i'll just make copy of this one okay the question will be like this very simple if you know how to make normal sentence the question it will be easy for you will i have gone okay so this will be can you try can you make the question now nenu velli untana perfect nenu velli untana like that only concept you need to learn then it's easy for you then okay other things also it will change according to that one uh, then negative won't i have been gone okay this one also i'll put for practice okay won't i have been gone but don't attempt this quiz first you read the table then attempt the quiz okay okay now try this one how it will change uh nenu velli undana perfect you understand the concept very well okay nenu velli undana won't i have gone okay.